Libyan military strongman General Khalifa Haftar has called on his forces to begin an advance aimed at capturing the capital, Tripoli. In April, he launched a major attempt to seize the city, which is held by Libya's UN-backed government. But the general's forces met resistance and they have long been bogged down in Tripoli's southern outskirts. In a rare live television broadcast on Thursday, General Khalifa Haftar urged his forces to advance towards the center of Tripoli in what he says would be the final battle for the capital. In reaction to the announcement, Libya's internationally recognized Prime Minister Fayez al-Sarraj dismissed Haftar's words as lies. According to Sarraj, talks have been scheduled to be held between both parties the UN-backed government of National Accord and Eastern-based Libyan National Army in mid-April in an effort to forge unity. Haftar forces have often issued announcements of advances or decisive military action that have been followed by little concrete change on the battlefield. Meanwhile, the head of Libya's Eastern-based parliament says he disagrees with an accord between Libya and Turkey, establishing maritime boundaries which has infuriated Athens. Greece expelled the Libyan ambassador last week over the November 27 accord, establishing a sea corridor between Libya and Turkey and in areas where Greece considers it has maritime rights. Speaker of the Libyan House of Representatives, Agula Sela Issa, is aligned to General Khalifa Haftar, who controls the east of the country, which opposes the internationally recognized government of national accord in Tripoli. Turkey says the accord aims to protect its rights and is in line with international law. President Tayyip Erdogan said that the accord will allow Turkey and Libya to hold joint exploration operations in the region. On Tuesday, Athens said it had lodged objections with the United Nations, saying the accord violated international law. Well, back here in Nigeria, residents of Ugala Kingdom in Burutu, local government area of Delta State, are in for a better deal in health and education. Going by the words of the chairman and CEO of Britannia U, Mrs. Uju Ifejika, Britannia U, through its corporate social responsibility platform, Lily Ford Foundation, took a free medical mission to the community into the waiting arms of excited beneficiaries. Mrs. Uju Ifejika and her team arrived to the warm embrace of women from various communities that make up the kingdom and the representatives of the traditional ruler, His Royal Majesty Joseph Timia. The traditional ruler and his subjects are happy that Britannia U is in their domain, but they need something specific, a befitting health facility. The nearest health facility is at Ogula community across the sea. We have lost quite a lot of lives trying to ferry sick people to the cottage hospital at Ogula community for treatment. Mrs. Ifejika wastes no time in her response. One thing I can guarantee you today is that we're going to build a health center. Also, we're going to set up the scholarship scheme. It's wonderful. It's beyond uh, one expectation. You know, good health is wealth. We thank you for Prayers were said for the kingdom and Britannia U. All roads now lead to the flag up of the medical mission. Medical personnel with various skills are here, attending to people in need. Sight issues, joint and body pains, diabetes and blood pressure matters. I have to thank the madam for giving us this privilege. The government wants other companies in the state to follow the example of Britannia U. Uh, Delta State government, we partner with everybody and anybody who will want to give support to our people. We want to encourage them. I want to call on other companies operating within the Niger Delta area to copy from Britannia U. Britannia U says it's not done yet. Say thank you to all our donors, you know, that have made this possible. What we are asking is we need more sponsors to come in. 
we want to tell you that we value your partnership and we'll continue to work with you. Don't is often considered an expression of emotion after a victory of any kind. The company Britannia U says the next few days will see them in Onicha Anambra State for another mission and in January 2020, the IDP camps in northern Nigeria. Still to come on the program. Our Africa Tech segment takes a look at the importance of technology in improving health standards in Africa. Please stay with us. <laughs> 